Hello everyone, is it possible to ejaculate and there is no sperm in the semen or no semen comes out at all? This is what we're going to be talking about in this session. There are a lot of women who have been coming to me and struggling to get pregnant and they are not able to get pregnant. What is happening? Sometimes they say the sperm leaks out and they are not able to get pregnant. It means that maybe the sperm is not reaching the egg. But in another scenario, they are saying here that the sperm, there is no even ejaculation. There is no sperm coming out or yet no semen is even seen. What is happening? Is this true? Can it happen where you ejaculate and nothing comes out? Or even you can see something there, but there is no sperm inside. We're going to be discussing about this in this session. This is Talk Pregnancy with Dr. Noella, where we tell you all about pregnancy and other women-related health issues. And if these are the kind of contents you'd like to watch, please don't forget to click on the subscription and hit the notification bell because you won't want to miss out on this. Let's go. <laughs> discuss this yeah i know to have um, women to get pregnant you you have the egg and definitely the sperm has to come from your partner you have to know although a man can get into climax or into orgasm and ejaculate and he might ejaculate and nothing comes out it can happen and sometimes you can even ejaculate cement you see something the, the cement that's the fluid that comes out after ejaculation, but there is no sperm inside. Why does this happen? How does it happen? Let's discuss about this. There's a case where the man ejaculates and nothing comes out. This is what is called dry orgasm. Have you ever heard about it? Dry orgasm. It means that he ejaculates and nothing comes out. So what happens? Why does this happen even? Let's even know a little bit why it happens. Please, and when you discover this, there's no need to panic. You have your healthcare personnel that you can um, report this to. So there are two ways in which it can happen where you might ejaculate and nothing comes out. The first scenario is what they call retrograde ejaculation. Retrograde ejaculation means that this sperm does not go through the ureter and comes out through the penis as we, we see normally. It is the goals and goes backward into the bladder. We're going to know what are some of the causes why it happens that way. And the second scenario is that it happen that there are some changes in the body, in the in the body of the male that causes some genetic changes that might occur, which causes um, the fluids and the sperm not to even be produced or produced in very small quantity that at the end you don't see anything coming out so those are the two scenarios where you can actually ejaculate and nothing comes out that's dry orgasm now there's another scenario where you can ejaculate something comes out that's the seminal fluid that's the semen but there is no sperm inside this is where they call like azospemia where there is no sperm where there is really really low sperm count these are the scenarios we're going to be talking about in this session if any of this is happening you need to be calm and rush and see your health personnel this session is just awareness is just to help you especially those who are trying to get pregnant you have to check some things you have to be vigilant to check out some certain things it's very important now what are the signs and symptoms of this how are you going to know that this is occurring dry orgasm dry orgasm when we talk about retrograde um when we talk about retrograde ejaculation now normally what happens in the body is that there are some muscles which are around the bladder neck which helps in closing the bladder during ejaculation such that once you ejaculate that's why most of the times you might see that you 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 might not urinate while you're ejaculating because there are muscles around the head of the bladder closing it when you ejaculate it passes through there and goes into the the urethra that's and comes out in the penis as you see but if these muscles have some problems so it could be mostly surgeries mostly these are seen like in in as you go older and if you have had any surgery 
around maybe the prostate or any um, surgeries around your male genitalia around there your male organs if you've had any surgery around there and even some medical conditions that you have can cause that even some medications that that you take that's why it's important that if you're taking any medication it should be prescribed by a health personnel and once you're prescribed most of the times well they might tell you about some of the side effects such that once you see it you don't panic now what these are the things that can make so it can cause now these muscles to be weak such that once you ejaculate and it follows the side where there is least resistance and when that muscle is weak there's least the least resistance site is at the level of the bladder so it goes backward into the bladder rather than through the penis and sometimes when you go now to go and urinate you can see your urine is a little bit cloudy when that has happened the other scenario now is when what happens is that your body is not able to produce enough semen to be ejaculated and most of the times it's a, it, it can be linked to some genetic causes as you grow older as well so and lastly the third scenario which you might not have known this which is like common sometimes and you might have you might have noticed this but you don't see it this way and is when you've had um, repeated like number of rounds repeated intercourse for for a number of times within a short period you can see that maybe the last time you might ejaculate and nothing comes out and that one most of the times is usually considered normal because you have surely used most of the seminal fluid and your body just needs enough time to produce more so after rest and after some few few days you see that it comes back to normal so once that thing happens you just know that it's because you had intercourse uh, many times you ejaculated many times within a short period of time um that's why sometimes when they want to when you're following up you know, couples to get pregnant they tell you during your fertile period it does not mean that you should have intercourse every day during your fertile period no that's why sometimes they skip one or two days during your fertile period but ensuring that during the ovulation day you have intercourse you can skip one or two days before the ovulation day so it gives time for the the seminal fluid to produce it gives time for the sperms to be produced healthy sperms then you ejaculate it on that ovulation day so most at times it's advisable to have inter during your fertile period they don't tell you that have intercourse every day every day because sometimes when ovulation time comes now you might not have something to ov to ejaculate that day thanks but make sure you don't miss the ovulation day because of this ejaculation that it might occur because of overuse of the seminal fluid now what are the signs and symptoms what can you do it's good that you should be vigilant as well such that if any if you have been ejaculating a, a certain quantity and you discover that it's redu it reduced in quantity then you ensure you consult don't be the one to decide and say no it's normal if you discover any changes please report immediately then if you see that you ejaculate and nothing comes out and you have been ejaculating before very well and it comes out normally and this time nothing comes out then report immediately please that because most of the times it is usually not painful if you see after ejaculation you go to go and urinate and you see your urine is a little bit cloudy report immediately therefore you might be suffering then lastly if you've been struggling to get your partner pregnant and the person is not getting pregnant you might also be thinking that that could be a problem so once you discover any of these changes any bit please consult your health personnel don't leave it to yourself the last scenario now is if you ejaculate you have semen but there is no sperm what is happening it means that you are not producing enough sperm this is what they call low sperm count or azospemia your sperms are really low in a way that it cannot be present and it cannot be it cannot make your partner pregnant now what do you do in this case most of the times what are the causes it could be blockage from the, through the reproductive tract it is being produced in the testes and coming out through the penis it could be a problem there could be a blockage there or it could be that the sperm is not even produced at all so this is 
these are things which are checked in the hospital so if you're trying to get your partner pregnant most of the times you see only the women coming to for infertility but of course where does the sperm come from to fertilize the egg is from the man so definitely when they do consultations for inf for women trying to or, or couples trying to get pregnant it is about the woman and the man so they check both the woman and also the man and the most common thing that they check for the man is the spermogram that's the sperm how the sperm is the shape of the sperm if the sperm moves well the the number the counts that's the sperm count they check everything if there's infection there as well so all these things are checked and that is when maybe they will see now that you're not even producing sperm at all or maybe they could do other exams now to see if it's a blockage or that you are not producing sperms at all so if you're struggling to get your, your your partner pregnant and it's not happening and you as the man you've not checked yourself it's important that you go and check yourself don't leave the woman to check on her own because the problem too can be from you it's always a two-way they check the woman and they check the man as well so if this was helpful don't forget to subscribe remember that if you have any changes in your ejaculation any problem in your ejaculation or trying to conceive and you've not checked yourself it's important that you check yourself thank you very much and if you want to have a private consultation with us don't forget click on the link below and you get to us and you get to me and you have a one-on-one -on -one session with me and I hope this was helpful. Don't forget to share it to other people. Let them learn about this. We are definitely just discussing. So if you have any comments, don't forget, drop it on the comment section and subscribe. Thank you and goodbye.